Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University. Joining us from the women's swimming and diving team is Noelle Parks. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Uh, uh, for To give a brief introduction, um, Noelle is in her junior year with the women's swimming and diving team. She, in her freshman year at the conference meet, she got 10th in the 200 freestyle and 12th in the 100 freestyle. And then she followed up her sophomore season by finishing 10th in the 100 freestyle. First, to kick things off, what is your major and minor? Um, I am majoring in elementary education and minoring in both history and special education. Okay. Um, for, um, who is your inspiration and why? Um, my inspiration is probably my coach, Jay. Uh, he was my coach for seven years, so throughout most of my swimming career. And he passed away my senior year of high school, so I'm always swimming for him. Okay. Um, what is your driving force slash motivation? Oh, it's just to do better than what I was yesterday. I just try to do the best I can and keep improving. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite aspect about sports and why? Um, the team aspect is my favorite. It's just get, always provides me with a group of people to rely on no matter what is going on in life, um, in school, whatever it is, they're always there to be there for me. All right. Um, what is your favorite non-athletic memory at Anderson? Um, I think just late nights with some of my best friends, whether it be in the dorm room, going to McDonald's, uh, going to Deluxe, going all the way to Kokomo, just having fun with friends in the wee hours of the morning is always fun. All right. And then what is your favorite athletic memory in Anderson? Um, probably HCACs this past year. So HCACs 2020. Um, it was just honestly the first meet I've genuinely had a lot of fun. Um, cheered a lot. I think I lost my voice, was smiling most of the meet. So it was a lot of fun. And, and, of, and then of course it resulted in a program record finish for you yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. um, first tick and then to um, switch the gears a little bit, going to team superlative type questions for a moment. Okay. First, who on the team is best dressed? Best dressed, probably Tess Mobile. She is always dressed up and I aspire to dress up like her every day. All right. Um, who on the team is the best dancer? Allie Streggy. She's always dancing. All right. Um, who on the team is the Joker, prankster, best sense of humor? Uh, since the men and women are together a lot of the time, Josh Eckberg. He keeps us all laughing all the time. All right. Um, who on the team is most outgoing? Outgoing? Um, Again, probably Josh Eckberg. He'll go up to anybody, just start a conversation. All right. Um, who, on the, um, who on the team is the best trash talker? Uh, I don't even really know. Um, it's such an individual sport that I don't hear any trash talking. Mm -hmm. um, because it's just, we all stay in yeah, our lane. It's kind of a, it's a kind of a beat the clock sport. Right, yeah. We're racing against ourselves most of the time, so. All right. And then who on the team is the pregame DJ? Um, so our pregame DJ would be all of us because we all picked two songs to go into our pregame playlist. All right. So every single one of us. And then does the team have does the team have a go go to pregame song? Not really. It's just whatever's on the playlist. So it's anywhere from country to um, I think there's like Journey and chain smokers, Justin Bieber, we have it all on our playlist. All right, going into our next segment of questions. First, what is your favorite candy? Um, it's oddly specific, but the Walmart brand gummy bears. Okay. Um, is, there, is there anything that you notice in particular for the Walmart brand? Um, they're a little more chewy. Um, they're not so like hard. Uh, the Albanese are good, but they're a little too soft. But there's also like the Haribo ones are too hard. So the Walmart brands are just perfect. Gotcha. Okay. 
Um, which is your favorite season? Summer. I love summer. I work at a summer camp with a lake, so it's always fun. All right. Do you have a favorite activity in camp season? Um, I like to lifeguard. Um, I get to see every kid every day, so lifeguarding is the best. All right. Um, what is your favorite movie? To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay. Um, other, than, other than swimming, what is your favorite sport? Football. Okay. Um, if you could have any animal as a pet, what would it be? A cow. All right. Um, what is your favorite sports scene? Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right. And then what is your favorite book? My favorite book is also To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, okay. okay. And then um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. All right. And then what is your favorite thing to do outside of swimming? I love to take pictures and do some handwriting. Okay. And then um, do you have any pets? And if so, what are their names? We have, my family has two beagles. Their names are Reese and Lily. Okay. Um, going, switching, the, switching back to some of the questions we were at before the, uh, what are your favorite hobbies? Favorite hobbies? Um, photography, uh, calligraphy or handwriting, um, watching movies, Netflixing, binge watching TV, hanging out with friends. Those are, all of those are fun. Okay. And then what is a little known but amazing fact about yourself? I am distantly related to Charlemagne and King Henry the Fourth from France. Okay, there you go. Um, why did you choose Anderson? Um, I chose Anderson originally for the education department, um, but then once I got on campus, it was just felt like home, so I knew I had to be there. All right. Um, what is your favorite class at Anderson, and why? Honestly, any of the education classes. Um, that I've had, but if I would have to pick one, it would probably be educational uh, psychology. Um, I like that one because of one, the professor, uh, two, it was just a lot of fun. I learned a lot about the brain and how it works with education. And then on the day of the final, our professor brought in donuts and his dog. All right, and then who is your favorite professor and why? Uh, probably Dr. Trotter. Um, he is always there to just listen if you need somebody to listen to. He gives me a cup of coffee almost every day and he always has food in his office and always jelly beans. All right, um, what, are your, what are your plans at this point after college? Um, I actually have a scholarship that requires me to teach in Indiana for five years. So after college, I will be teaching in Indiana for five years, but I would also like to be a swim coach. All right, and then, um, what do you want your lasting legacy to be at Anderson? Um, I would like it to be just get involved. Um, somebody who got involved in a lot of um, career building activities, but also had fun with friends and was, you know, I have a lot of pictures out there for the athletics department. So somebody who took pictures, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, I've got, um, I've got my questions covered. Um, Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Noel, thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank you. Um, be sure to follow along with more, uh, more Spotlight Ravens series interviews. We'll have more coming soon, so we will see you then.